Hey guys, Ryan Castro here. Uh, today's video, I'm going to show you how you can upgrade uh, an automation engine, either test or production environment to ESCO's automation engine 21.03 release for 2021. All right, so the first thing I'm going to start with here is I'm going to log into the server admin uh, and quickly do a backup. Uh, so log in with an administrator user to the server admin, navigate to the backup section, uh, and then do make backup now. I'm gonna do a full backup, configuration resources and databases, and then I'll let this execute. Uh, should take just a few moments depending on the size of your automation engine. So while you're wait for this backup to complete, I recommend going and checking out the system requirements page for this 21.0 release of Automation Engine. Uh, depending on what kind of server environment you're installing this on, either a development, test, or production, uh, your server will require different resources, and you may have a um, multiple tiered uh, server set up with some master and assistance. So go check that out uh, while this backup is happening here. All right, so I can see here that the backup was successfully completed. Uh, sometimes this notification window doesn't go away, uh, especially if you're looking at this icon. So just read the log and see what happens. Uh, so I do know the backup has completed successfully. So now what I'm gonna go do is find my 21.03 ISO file that I've downloaded from my software. Uh, so I'm just gonna mount this and then I'm gonna take a look at the setup file and I recommend you right click and run as administrator to install this. If you haven't already done so, I also recommend performing any Windows updates. Uh, also checking out to make sure your SQL database for Automation Engine uh, is up to a current version that this release of AE supports. So I'm gonna to proceed to the installation. Uh, depending on how your environment is installed, you're gonna choose either the standard installation or installation with an existing SQL server. Uh, I'm just gonna do the standard install. Uh, run the automation engine system readiness check. Basically just make sure that your server can support the software. Uh, install the network license manager component. And I see you do need to do this every time because there is a unique version for all the network license managers and they support the licenses. Uh, I've already done this step here, uh, so I'm just gonna continue to install the prerequisite components. Uh, install the prerequisite components. Uh, this installer is just gonna do a check to make sure everything has been installed on the server. Uh, this notification here just says, uh, in the log, it's gonna tell you what needs to be installed and a reboot may be required. Um, everything was installed on my system for the prerequisites. If I just scroll up, I can see that all the checks were passed. Uh, now it wants to install CADX. Um, I do know that my server already has the latest version of CADX here, so uh, I'm just gonna click no and skip this for both the standard and enterprise edition. I wish the installer would check that to actually see if it is installed, but it always prompts you. All right, everything is good to go for the prerequisite components. I'm gonna click exit, and now I'm ready to install Automation Engine 2103. Uh, select next. Once again, it's just doing a prerequisite uh, system readiness check. Make sure everything's installed. Skip through, uh, make sure you read that user license agreement can check what's gonna be installed here. So I'm gonna see it's gonna install the new version of Automation Engine, just upgrade the desk pack container uh, and some other components. Click next, where do I wanna install this? Uh, I do know that my Automation Engine is currently installed on my D drive here uh, because I have just a D drive for additional data and applications along with the ESCO folder. So make sure you're installing it in the same path and not just clicking next. So I'm gonna change this to the D drive, same with the ESCO folder and click apply to all. Click next and you'll know if you chose the right location because the, all the actions should say update for majority of the components and then installing the 2103. 
Uh, if you didn't choose the right folder, it would say uh, install a lot of these components. All right, so at this point, automation is just gonna, engine is gonna go through. Uh, it does say that it found a previous backup of automation engine 20.1, uh, and I'll be able to return to this version. Uh, if you didn't do that backup step, it's either gonna say it's not found or it's gonna give you the date of the previous version. Uh, you can see in the, the backup path here when my last version was done. So April 13th, 2021. I uh, just wanna make sure that should something go wrong, you have the latest backup. So I'm gonna say yes, accept this backup. Uh, if you don't accept, it does just sort of exit the installer and wants you to go perform a manual backup. Let the installer move through, waits about five seconds. And at this point, uh, now it's just going to stop the AE service, which is the BGMD service, if it is running. Uh, you can just click continue now to force through this uh, waiting period, or you can just wait. So at this point, just go grab a coffee. It's gonna do its thing. This can take quite some time as there's a number of components that need to be updated along with installing the new version of Automation Engine 2103. Or you can check out the ESCO website and see what's new in this latest release. And then also plan some of your cleanup tasks on your server after. Uh, what's a cleanup task? So basically, you can choose to have multiple versions of the previous software installed uh, should you need to roll back to one of those. However, I'm going to clean all those up once I'm done. Uh, so what I can do from here is remove any previous versions of Automation Engine 14 through version 20. Click Next. I'm just going to say yes. I want to remove all of these version 20 components. All right, so while this is uninstalling, uh, you can just wait for it to finish. Or what we can do is install the Automation Engine Pilot for the new version. So I'm going to go to my browser. Uh, since I have my server admin bookmarked, uh, if I try to go to it at port 9999, uh, the first thing you're going to notice is there's an error. Uh, and that's because the server admin port has been changed to 9000. And when I load this up, you're going to notice that there's a new server admin interface. So just Log in as an administrator account for the pilot again. Sign in. And here you'll notice there's a whole new redesigned server admin page. I can just click apps and tools at the top and download the client application. Uh, this is where you're also going to find all your uh, pit stop profile editor, the script runner, uh, and some other additional tools for the Web Center SaaS application, if that's what you're using. So I'll just load my pilot installer. My uninstaller was finished, so I'm gonna close that out before installing my pilot. Uh, click Next to install the pilot. Uh, once again, make sure your destination drive is right. Mine is on the D, not the C. At this point, I can close out the Automation Engine Installer page. So overall, for this entire install, you could probably plan somewhere between 20 minutes and an hour to complete the whole thing on the server and one local machine with the client. Uh, of course, you're gonna have to install the client on all workstations for those who are using uh, the pilot application.
Right, so this is wrapping up here. It's successfully completed. You can see on my desktop, there is now a 2103 pilot. Open that up. I uh, didn't remember my server name, so I'm just gonna type that in here. And then I can just log in with my pilot account. Just make sure this opens up. And then I recommend running some test workflows to make sure everything's working as expected. All right, so I can see my pilot successfully installed uh, and then I'm ready to go. So that's how you can upgrade your automation engine to the 21.03 release on an environment of your choice. If it's dev, test, or production, uh, just be sure to check out the system requirements as things could be different depending on your uh, server environment. Thanks for watching.